Yeah, he was an executive from Monsanto. And guess what? Before we took that job, he worked for the FDA. So if you really think that this guy is somehow going to stand up for you when he's been setting his own career path the whole way, no. And let's talk about corn subsidies, right? How many people know that the government subsidized corn to such a level that farmers can't make money growing corn? They actually have to sell it for less than they can grow it for. So the government comes and subsidizes it. So the small farmers, they're gone. They're going. They're disappearing. They're an endangered species. Well, it's not only in the U.S., even in Mexico and South America, the U.S. corn, GMO Monsanto, is being dumped into the market, and now you've got generations of farmers who have spent their entire livelihood growing corn. Hey, bud. There you go. Something about India and Monsanto. You okay, man. Come on up. We're going bite. Because of Monsanto, India, the farmers in India, their farms are like like getting abandoned because they're killing themselves. They are, they're committing suicide in India. Yeah, the farmers, like I said, small farmers are an endangered species. And it's happening in Mexico. But how do you, you know, how do you break the stranglehold here? Because if you think that the revolving door between the food industrial complex and the government is any different from the revolving door between the military industrial complex and government, and is any different from the revolving door between the, the uh, financial services industrial complex and government, I think you're wrong. It's all the same. We have to take the power back. So how can we do this? Empower the people. There are three things we can do, guys. First and foremost, grow food, not lawns. I cannot, yeah, right? Grow food, not lawns. How many times you drive by in Arizona in a desert and you see a big, beautiful green grass lawn and nobody's growing food on it, right? Well, I get it. You know, kids like to play in grass and... The dogs, you know, it's easy to clean up their poop when it's in the grass. I get it, guys, but maybe, <laughs> but maybe take half of that and grow food. If you start small, grow your own food. If you grow your own food, they can't do anything. They can't inject GMO stuff into the in your heirloom seeds. It's yours. They can't regulate it unless they do the Agenda 21 stuff Andrew is talking about. But grow your own food, not lawns. Second, you got to create a market. This may be an example of a place that doesn't have any GMO, I don't know. But I can tell you, if we start demanding GMO-free at our stores, they're going to start listening. Because look around, it's not just me, it's not just you, it's all of us. And we are the market. Yeah, we are the market. So I go to Sprouts sometimes and I say, hey guys, uh, where's your, where's your GMO-free section? And they're like, what do you mean? Oh, I said, well, I saw a gluten-free section, and I saw a sugar-free section, where's your GMO-free section? And they say, hey, well, we don't have one. I say, oh, well, I'm going to go to this store because they have one. And I guess if enough of us start doing that, they're going to listen because they have to serve the market. It's us. So you got to create a market. Last, get involved in your own governance. I know it's kind of dirty. It's kind of, you know, there's some slimy people you wouldn't want to introduce to your mother, your sister, your grandmother, anybody, right? But let me tell you right now, I am a proud, I'm a Ron Paul Republican. And if we don't start standing up to this machine, then we're, we're kind of done for. I'm also third vice chair for District 26 Republican Party. We talk about GMOs. We talk about, we talk about, you're absolutely right, brother. We talk about GMOs. We talk about Agenda 21. We talk about the Federal Reserve. You know, the Republican Party, and I'm not going to talk much about this, they started to stop slavery. They're, we need to get the people, get them empowered. And I don't care, guys, what party you go to. Get involved. I'm dead serious about this. Because they've got a stranglehold on you like you would not believe. These people up in Washington, they think they're just God's gift to everybody. And they don't they don't listen to you at all. So it's time to boot them out and take charge of our lives. So you've got to get involved in government. So three things you can do. Grow food, not lawns. Create a market and get involved in your governance. Guys, thank you very much for your time. If you want to learn more about what I do... Go and check out freetmp.com. That's F-R-E-E-T-M-P-E.com. And thank you. You are the revolution.